Welcome to ITP 115, Programming in Python. This is video one, giving you an introduction to the Python programming language. Python was created by Guido van Rosum, a Dutch programmer in the early 1990s. He named it after Monty Python's Flying Circus. Monty Python is a British comedy troupe. Python is a wonderful first programming language it is a high level language, which means that the code is human readable. We can actually just write it in text files. It is also very powerful. We can incorporate lots of libraries that have already been written for us. And it is also multi-platform, which means it runs on all different kinds of operating systems. We can get free access to lots of Python resources at www.python.org. Now let's talk about running programs. On our computer, which is our hardware, we have software called an operating system. And the operating system allows other software to actually talk to the lower end components of the hardware. So when we install something like Microsoft Word, we install a version that is made for your operating system. And the same is true for any web browsers and any other pro any other software applications. They are written for your, generally for your specific operating system. Well, Python is really powerful because it uses an interpreter. So as long as there's a Python interpreter on your computer, we can write Python code once and then run it on different operating systems because as long as there is a Python interpreter for that operating system. There are two ways to run Python code. Now, because it's an interpreted language, which means we can have an interactive live session, the, the interpreter can be this interactive live session, we can type code straight into an interactive session. And so as we type and then hit return, the code will be, will be ran right um, immediately, will be interpreted by the interpreter, and then results will be presented to us. So that's the one, one way that we can write code. But another powerful way to write code is as a script or into files. If we write them into files, then we can save it and run it later as well and, and install it on other computers. So that is actually how we prefer to write code is to actually write scripts, write them into files. Well, what do we use for writing them into files? Well, we are going to use something called an integrated development environment. We also call it an IDE. An integrated development environment is actually software that helps us write software or code to help us write code. What we are going to use in this class is REPL. R-E-P-L -E dot it is a website and REPL actually stands for read, eval, print loop. So read, eval, print loop, which means that we can actually run code and then test it right away and keep on running it um, in this interactive environment. So we can save it into files and also run it interactively in this environment. So that is what we will be using. And what's great about REPL is actually it's ran through a web browser. So as long as you have a web browser on your computer, you can run Python code. You actually don't need to install the Python interpreter onto your computer because REPL, REPLit, the website, has it integrated in there. So we actually don't have to worry about what operating system you're working in. Now, the first program that you're going to write is Hello World. And here is example of REPLit. You're going to uh, create a new account with your TA and uh, then we're going to add a new REPL and then you'll actually create code and everyone's first programming assignment should always be hello world. It's actually from an old textbook about the C programming language and so we use the word the function called print so you type in the middle part print parentheses so one parentheses double quotes hello world you can add that exclamation mark close it with another uh, double quote and then the closing parenthesis and hit return and you 
will now have written your first line of code, hello world.